Hey, Virgo. So we're going to go over a little situation. We'll just pull whatever spirit wants you to know about. We'll kind of dig deep with the tarot. See what's going on with that, what the challenge is. Pull some advice at the end. Uh, all the readings are general. They're for the collective. So if something doesn't resonate for you here, just discard it and you know leave it for a Virgo who does need to hear it. And of course, remember that there is no gender in tarot. If I pull a queen, I could totally be talking about a guy. It's all about the personality. In the description below and in the pinned section of the comments, I've linked my other channel where I do love readings if you want to check those out. Um, and I've also given all the information to contact me for a private personal reading or for talk therapy. And I've even linked a few friends channel there if you want to check them out as well. Great. Can I have a message for Virgo? What do they need to know about? Thank you. Okay, we have it's time to release negativity. Tell me about it's time to release negativity for Virgo. Of the Queen of Cups. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. swords, the six of swords, three of cups, the king of wands, Chariot, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck I have the King of Swords. Mm. So I feel like in the current, you're really emotional and this is kind of the challenge. It's like, and it's, it's like, I feel like there's two parts to you here. It's like one part is like deeply intuitive and you sort of, you know, can understand people's like intentions towards you but then some of these emotional aspects are actually negative you know it's, it could be you know people that are 
perhaps really triggering. I feel like there's a couple here, the King and the Queen of Wands, and they're like your friend, they're like part of your friend groups. They don't have to be an actual couple like together, but these are like your friends. Um, Whoever these two people are, I feel like you've been, you know, this is definitely friendship. I guess they could be siblings or something, but I feel like it's friendship, you know. You've been friends with these people for a long time, like you've invested some time and energy into them, but there's a lot of stress around these people. You feel like you need to sort of like move away from them. And I see you kind of doing that. It's like you're not even going to accept any type of apology or sincere gesture from these people. It's, I mean, the challenge is really, you know, holding boundaries, making head over heart decisions. You know, right now you're very emotional and, and these people are bringing out the negative emotions in you. And you need to kind of get more into, you know, it's like you have to combine this rational mind, of course, with, with these emotional aspects. Otherwise, like you're just emotional. Um, but I feel like Yeah, I feel like there are certain people that have just, they've just done too much. And I feel like it involves these two specific people because we keep pulling these threes in. I feel like you think that some of these connections are just not really going to be fixable. Like these people just bring out a side of you that you don't like. Um... You could have noticed like behavioral patterns in these people that sort of trigger you or like set you off and you feel like anyone who makes you feel really negative about yourself or just you feel like they're always negative, you know, like they're just like that type of entity that, you know, you have to do what's best for you and sometimes that sort of involves cutting people off, even if it breaks your own heart swords, you know? Let's pull some advice here. So we have a new cycle begins. It does say a new romantic cycle. Um, but this reading really wasn't coming off romantic. I guess for some people, if it is romantic, it's kind of like realizing that, you know, there could have been like some weird third party interruptions, be like family members or friends or something that were able to like disrupt a connection. And You're about to do something new. It, but, but to me, this really wasn't coming off as romantic. It was more like understanding, you know, the connections that you have in your life matter a lot. You know, we have resilient, stay strong as evergreen trees and adventure, live wild and free. And we have B, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. 
Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen or king of abundance. You know, for me, it's like, I think that with this new cycle, it's really you only dealing with people who kind of are on the same vibration as you learning that you can't just, you know, time doesn't even mean anything with friendships. It's all about the energy that people are reciprocating, you know, um, realizing that it's important to not waste your time on people. Um, recognizing kind of that, like your emotions almost can deceive you, right? About who people really are, but kind of waking up to everything. And I feel like because you've really learned a lot here and you've made the correct decisions, it's kind of like, you know, these new connections will come in, um, I feel like things will get like you'll you'll have better friendships it's almost like you needed whoever these two specific people were you needed them to get you into this really like deeply emotional space to purge you know and kind of start thinking from the logical mind and now you're stronger but there's definitely something really new coming in and I feel like it's in the form of connections like community and abundance. That kind of comes from choosing yourself, which I think is what you're doing here. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I'll see you soon.